ask to be a part of this initiative. Uh, so we did apply to Tulane in uh, early 1961. Uh, Barbara applied for the PhD program in sociology, and I applied to the Graduate School of Social Work. And naturally, we were uh, not admitted, we were refused. And uh, the application, the letters stated that we uh, qualified in terms of academics and everything else. The only thing that disqualified us was race. I had to have a master's degree in social work in order to continue working in the field. And uh, the closest one was LSU. So either I had to relocate to Baton Rouge or drive to Baton Rouge every day, drive there, drive back. And I wasn't going to do that. So when, when Dr. Fury said, let's look at Tulane, I said, fine. So that's how it happened. The Urban League was one of the first organizations that I worked with. And uh, it was rewarding because the, what we call delegate agencies, the community organizations already had a foothold in neighborhoods. The Urban League in those days was working very heavily in the Central City area, in the Carrollton area, and in the Desire area. And uh, I knew uh, Mr. Harris Barney, and so it was just, it was a good way of getting things done because you had many, organizations and entities zeroing in on a specific area and it just made it better and, and more effective really. I guess the thing I like to to say to most people is that learning is not static and so there's no one place in time where we have learned all there is to learn about how to do certain things. And so I learned from people who preceded me. I learned from people who were my contemporaries. And I learned from younger people. And I think that's very important that we realize that learning is cyclical. That whatever part I had in doing what I did would serve as a, a jumping off point for younger people. And they said, well, I remember she did this, you know, um, and I'm going to do it a little bit. I'm going to take it one step further. And I think that's the essence of what we're all about. That we we'll, we come here, we're on, some, we're on someone's shoulders because they've preceded us. And we understand that people are going to be on our shoulders. And so it's just going to keep getting better and better. Till one thing, hopefully, that we can achieve all of those goals that we have set out.